the need for a working group was established for the local church town area. Two years of lockdowns meant that people had fallen away from their routines. And on the back of that, then there was a lack of confidence regarding walking alone and fear of walking on their own. So the idea of meeting for a regular walk was very attractive and very motivating for people. For us personally and professionally, it's, it's been a lovely group to run. There's been great enthusiasm about it. They're walking and then we come back for a cup of tea or coffee. I did six weeks in the programme. I found it very beneficial. I found that it gave me confidence. It was brilliant coming out and meeting everybody and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's something to look forward to every Wednesday. In designing the group, I wanted to evaluate if we could actually improve muscle strength as well as improving people's physical activity levels. I carried out two standardised outcome measures which were leg strength and hand grip strength. Each participant was assessed on week one and the same test was repeated again on week six. I was very pleased that on reassessment that over 90% of clients had demonstrated improvement in their muscle strength, in their legs and their hand grip. We're also able to manage issues that arise in a timely manner. For example, one lady, she advised her home care package, she didn't have enough care hours. So I was able to link back with the public health nurse and we organised for extra care hours. I am alone along for a long time during the day and it's nice to meet people and they're lovely and I feel better with talking to someone. Some of the clients from our first group in, in September, they still meet up on a Wednesday and go for the walk and, and come back for a coffee and that's really nice to see. The Walk and Talk programme supports the delivery of Community Healthcare East's Healthy Ireland Implementation Plan, particularly in relation to two key areas of policy, healthy eating, active living and positive ageing. We can also see that the programme is very scalable and we hope to develop the programme across other community healthcare networks.